Okay, it's day 136, um, part three. So sometimes you make mistakes, and I could have made a big one this morning, or it could be uh, quite serendipitous in terms of figuring out quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I focused for some reason on this Burgess guy because of what happened after we went to the White House and after we saw his body. Uh, this Burgess guy was still there, which didn't make any sense. They would have picked up his body and let it go. And plus, they weren't releasing his name. And these are two things that the Secret Service never does. It's kind of like the, you know, we don't usually have the whole group of conspirators all interview together and uh, write each other notes on each other's testimony down uh, with Andy McCabe. So, and then the attack helicopter formation of Marine One said, something's crazy about this Burgess guy. And it could be Burgess. So, uh, so we did start doing this deep dive on this Cameron Burgess. And it led to two Cameron Burgesses. One who was suspiciously close to this Army airfield in uh, Gainesville, Florida, and also suspiciously close to this parolee center. I thought immediately SEIU uh, janitor. And if you can't get an SEIU janitor job at University of Florida, then, you, you know, then you, we put you on the trash route. Either way, we're going to get you a route. Uh, you're not, you know, if you need, if you want a route, we're going to get you a route. Um, that that was the first Burgess, the kid who Ross Burgess, Cameron Ross Burgess. Well, it turns out there's a Cameron Burgess also that's in Australia that's connected to all these George Soros type groups, kind of connected to the Aspen group, kind of connected to the, you know, hey, you know, I'm going to throw out a revenge motive. Trump's a horrible, hateful person. Now you can't be neutral. You can't be neutral. You either have to agree to it or you have to do something about it. You've got to take sides. In all of his literature, you've got to take sides. And then it's like, we'll have this private consultation. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> What's your private consultation? Oh, you're going to run drugs because that's going to somehow hurt Trump, right? I, you know, And it's always these food covers. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take spare food and so forth. Well, that's another route. That's just yet another route, or yet another cover. So it's interesting because everyone probably knows Ron Burgess. And, uh, you know, make your engine sound loud if you are a drug dealer. Um, everyone knows Ron Burgess is ex-head of DIA, the, uh, Michael Flynn, Ron Burgess on Trump's transition team. Now the plot thickens. Is Cameron Burgess related to Ron Burgess. I don't even know if Ron Burgess is still on the transition team, but he was one of those guys that was hacked by the guy who did the deal. I know this is complicated, by the deal, guy who did the deal with Ivanka. The guy who did the deal with Ivanka at GSA was the guy who sold the post office building to Ivanka and Jared Kushner, I guess. Also was the one who gave up all the emails of all the Trump transition team in the in the transition period so they didn't have to go to wiretaps for everybody supposedly that's their cover right and one of those guys is ron burgess now is there a connection between ron burgess the guy on the trump transition team like michael flynn ex head of dia could be very close to that whole dia whatever that five eyes thing dia has going on with australia right uh, and the guy who flies seems to fly airplanes. Uh, that Burgess, the 26-year-old Burgess, that seems to have a business called, oh, uh, uh, not uncompromised like the one in Australia, but um, a couple of other weird businesses that call on Congress. So I thought, well, this is easy. The opium comes from Australia. Australia manages that. That eye manages that part of the business. It gets here too. <laughs> It gets to Virginia, and then the USI takes over, right? So is Five Eyes really just kind of like a, a you know, drugs for weapons ring? Uh, who knows? But anyway, um, is this kid just flying uh, planes back and forth, or just planes from this airfield in Gainesville, Florida, up to, you know, he's kind of a, a control point, a, a, dis, or a concentration point, up to uh, this Dawkins Field that we all introduced you to? Who knows? We don't know. But I just, I, I know there's something there because of the weirdness of not taking the body in and then these attack uh, formations of these Marine ones. I just know there's something there.